Madagascar. The helmet. To play a story, touch watch the story. Watch the story. One day, Rico was making himself a fish sandwich when something strange happened. The fish, mustard, and bread suddenly started moving around. <laughs> Rico heard laughing and looked up to find the cause of the fishy situation. Kowalski had invented a helmet that turned thoughts into action. Kowalski quickly showed off his invention by making a huge pile of fish fly to the penguins. Nice, Kowalski, said a happy skipper as he looked at the tasty snack. Meanwhile, King Julian saw what had happened and became interested. That penguin has a magic crown that makes things go floating. I must have that magic hat, he said. I am consumed with jealousy. King Julian came up with a plan to get the special helmet. That night, he sneaked into the penguins' headquarters and took the helmet while they slept. The next day, Kowalski discovered that the helmet was missing. Whoa! Suddenly, the penguins started floating up higher and higher. The penguins floated down and landed right in front of King Julian. They saw that he was now wearing the helmet. Oh, hello. How are you liking my new crown? King 
Julian decided to show off the powers of the helmet. Now watch as I will, he bragged. I want a fizzy soda. You are fired! Skipper realized how dangerous it would be if King Julian could do anything he thought. Turn over the helmet ring tail, he said, before someone gets hurt. King Julian continued to test out the helmet's power. Okay, what next? I know. Papaya! He grew more stubborn and refused to give back the helmet. My brain and my crown thingamabooty will now do everything for me. My brain my crown thingamabooty will now do everything for me. Suddenly, Rico jumped at King Julian and tried to get the helmet. Handling it just fine until you came charging in here like a herd of angry rhinos, said King Julian. And just like that, a herd of angry rhinos came running. Say like a herd of angry elephants. King Julian kept talking. Every time he said something, 
It appeared like magic. Finally, Skipper covered King Julian's mouth to keep him quiet. Kowalski commented that the helmet created a particularly explosive situation. King Julian repeated the word, EXPLOSIVE! And boom! There was an explosion! My old crown was much less dangerous. King Julian agreed to take the helmet off, but no matter what he tried, it would not budge. It's not like this crown is changed to my head. He said, as soon as he said it, it happened. the stupidness. <laughs> While King Julian struggled with the helmet, his old friend Maurice appeared. King Julian tried to remember him. Your face does ring a bell. Oh! Oh! Marie! Oh! Marie! He's distracted. This is our chance, shouted Skipper. Rico launched a rocket and knocked the helmet right off King Julian's head. came off King Julian's head, and so did his hair. Oh. Uh, I am as hairless as a chip's bottom, cried King Julian. Uh, this is a hideousness. While King Julian was wailing about his hair, Maurice walked up and plunked his old crown back on. It covered his bald head perfectly. Oh, Maurice, you always know what I need, said King Julian. charging rhinos and exploding rockets, everything was finally back to normal. At least until the next time Kowalski invents something new. <laughs> collected 36 fish tokens. Watch the story again? No.